We're back with more Madden 22 news today as we just found out a bunch of players Madden ratings for the new game mostly the rookies but also some big name players who change teams like Julio Jones and players like that so we also got a video of some of the rookies reacting to their specific Madden ratings which we know every year is a funny video so I'm gonna let that play in a second and then we'll come back here and we'll dive into all of the individual ratings that were released today but keep in mind through this whole next coming week they're gonna be revealing ratings and and reactions every day so they'll probably do a position a day that's what they did last year and then at the end of the week on Friday they'll just release the entire ratings of every single player in the game so if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos this week I know that's a big week to a lot of people make sure to subscribe turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those videos when they go live each day but let's get into the video of the rookies reacting to their ratings Elijah Moore Mac Jones Patrick Sartan Travis Etienne Jr. JC Horn Dante Samuel I'm about to find out my Madden rating give me that 99 lockdown man covers on coverage all that my speed gotta be up there i need like plus 85 on everything 90 94 plus speed and and, and we can work with that i really want to see my speed and my catching i gotta make sure they don't downplay me as a slow guy man coverage i gotta have an 84 and it gotta be number one out of all rookies what 74 they seen how many catches i gave them my last season in college what are y'all not seeing awareness 95 you know i got y'all dead wrong they need to change that it's all about speed and man. At least a 92. Yes, sir. It put me out there. Throw power? Oh, Lordy. 87? I mean, I wasn't that far off. Short route running? Give me 87. I feel like I'm creating a player right now. Ooh, I disrespectful, man. Who got better short route running than me? Change of direction. You might as well just put me a 100. <sighs> who, who is above me? Because 93 kind of low. Like, I don't really know nothing I can't do. Break tackling. 52. That would be incredible. Oh, my God. No way, you're trolling me. How many tackles have ever been broken before? <laughs> 66 overall. Okay, I'll take that. It's all right. It's not about where he starts, where he finished. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My cousin found me. 92 speed, though. You moving, though. You moving. Hey, you know what time it is. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> you should have been about a 94, but hey, you get updated every week. So as you can see right there, every year, they kind of do the rookies a little dirty. You know, they rate them really low. Some of their individual ratings are super low for some reason. You know how you know how EA does the rookies. But one thing that was interesting that I saw a lot of people point out, they said that they had Travis Etienne listed as wide receiver. Now, we know EA makes typos and stuff like that actually pretty often. So at first, I was like, did they just mess up here? But actually, he might actually be listed as a wide receiver because according to all the reports, Urban Meyer said that he's taking all of his reps at wide receiver in training camp. Now, I'm sure they're still going to use him as like a hybrid player. It would be kind of stupid to not use him in the backfield at all. But we know James Robinson was really good last year. So it was kind of shocking that they took a running back so high in the draft. But it appears they're going to be using him more as a wide receiver. But I'm sure they're still going to use him as a running back as well. But it looks like in Madden, he will be listed as a wide receiver to start out. So let's look at the rookies that they did reveal. They didn't reveal a whole bunch of them. They revealed kind of the top guys, but I think tomorrow on Monday, we'll probably get more of those ratings or maybe they'll go position by position. Like I said, not 100% sure, but Kyle Pitts is actually coming in as the highest rated rookie, which I kind of expected either him or Trevor Lawrence, but Kyle Pitts is just like such a crazy prospect and so NFL ready that I, I kind of assumed he would probably be the top guy. He comes in at an 81 overall, which is very high for a rookie. You really rarely see rookies get in the 80s at all and he's also the fastest tight end in the game this year in the entire game at 91 speed and with his size he's gonna be just a crazy guy in Madden for the next decade he's gonna be like that ridiculously glitchy weapon in the game like we've seen some of the past crazy tight ends be Trevor Lawrence comes in as the second highest rated rookie at 78 overall which is about right then you got Jalen Waddle at 76 Patrick Sertain at 76 as well. You got Zach Wilson, the number two quarterback for the rookie class at 75. Then you've got Jamar Chase at 75 as well. Devonta Smith, the Heisman winner, also at 75. Penel Sewell, also at 75. And then you've got Trey Lance and Justin Fields rounding out the top 10 at a 74 overall. 
Now, I don't know if this is actually the top 10 because it just says notable rookies, but this is probably the top 10 or pretty close to the top 10. I'm surprised they didn't show guys like JC Horn or any of the running backs like Najee Harris, for example. But this is kind of what we got so far. Now, I've seen a few people say, why is Jamar Chase not the highest rated wide receiver? And I'm an LSU fan, so naturally I'm a little bit biased. And I, I'm going to say that it probably has to do with speed. The same reason Henry Ruggs was the, was the uh, highest rated overall receiver for last year's rookies. The speed rating affects the overall rating in Madden probably more than anything else and Jalen Waddle is a complete burner so that's probably why he's the highest rated receiver so that's just what I had to say about that there we also know that Mac Jones the other rookie we know that he's a 71 overall because we saw him in the reaction video but now let's talk about some other players that they went over they mentioned a few players that switched teams some of the bigger name guys that switched teams so Matthew Stafford they revealed was an 83 overall which is kind of about right that's that's about what he was at the end of last Madden. And then Jared Goff, the guy that, the, you know, they kind of swapped with each other there. Goff going to the Lions, Stafford going to the Rams. Jared Goff is coming in at a 77 overall. Now, this one I think is a little disrespectful. Carson Wentz, right, was a big name guy in Philly for some years. Was on pace to win the MVP before getting hurt a few years back. The season that they went on to win the Super Bowl. He obviously, you know, didn't have a good year last year. It just hasn't been working out. So he went over to the Colts and he's coming in at a 72 overall. That is pretty disrespectful. I know that he was going to be kind of low, but that seems super low. I thought he'd at least be more in like the mid 70s. So Carson Wentz definitely has some work to do to make up that ground. And then they also threw Jalen Hurts in there because now he's going to be the starter uh, for the Eagles. And they said he's actually at a 71 overall, which I guess... It seems a little low to me as well, but we didn't see a whole lot of him last year and he looked good in some, uh, you know, phases and he looked really bad in others. So kind of, kind of hard to really get an accurate rating on him. They also mentioned Sam Darnold, another name that switched teams going over to the Panthers. He also comes in at a 71 overall, pretty, pretty low. Now, two of the bigger name guys, Julio Jones and JJ Watt, guys that have been high nineties for, you know, as long as we can remember Julio Jones with the Titans now comes in at a 90. 95 overall which is kind of about right I guess for where he's been the last few years he's kind of been in that 98 97 96 range right but he kind of last year didn't have the greatest year I think he was hurt a little bit as well which has kind of been a common thing for him over the years but anyway he comes in at a 95 overall JJ Watt now with the Cardinals adding the firepower to that team on defense he comes in at a 94 overall and then they also mentioned Jonu Smith, one of the big acquisitions for the Patriots, former Titans tight end going over to the Patriots. He comes in at an 81 overall, but he should have some pretty good speed, which is kind of his thing in Madden. He's a he's a pretty speedy guy. And when you put him on that uh, offense with Cam Newton, then you also bring in Hunter Henry, who's also a pretty fast guy for a tight end. They definitely got some decent weapons there. Now, that's all that they revealed today. They just did kind of a little kickoff show for ESPN. So they didn't put a lot out there, just kind of some of the bigger name rookies and some of the bigger name guys that change teams but starting tomorrow either tomorrow or Tuesday I don't know the exact day this starts but I know this entire week coming every day we're going to get more and more ratings and at the end of the week we're going to get the big ratings dump on the website so make sure again if you don't want to miss out on any of that stuff make sure you subscribe turn the bell icon on because we're going to have info coming every day and we're getting much much closer to Madden 22 also more gameplay videos should be dropping pretty soon as well so again if you don't want to miss any of that make sure you're plugged in make sure you're tapped in but that's going to be all for today i'll see you guys next time